a sentir la pasión, yes, el amor da. Okay, yeah. Marvel, so whatever it is, there you go. We're gonna get it. Very so much. I can give you a little bit, but I can't give you too much. You have to tune in this Sunday and watch the Nuestra Belleza Latina. But um, I can tell you that the girls are definitely going to be very sexy and it's going to be very challenging for them to walk in these gowns. Everything is really long and very dramatic and um, whoa, we're having rehearsals today and I'm afraid for some of these girls walking down the runway. But like I said, you have to tune in and, and find out if they're going to trip, if they're going to fall, who's going to get eliminated. But the collection is inspired by the Greek goddesses and Greek mythology. So you'll see little influences here and there in the collection with the draping, with the um, structure of the dresses. And um, you'll kind of feel the role of Medusa here and there in uh, some of the pieces. I think the secret to dressing a woman, no matter what shape or size she is, is definitely what she feels comfortable in. You have to know her best assets and what best complements her body before just putting her in something that she's not going to feel comfortable in. But sometimes you have to push women to go places that they've never been before so that they could experience this whole new side of themselves because they just might love a backless gown and they never knew they had an amazing back or an amazing rack. So um, I think it's all about how they feel in the dress, choosing basic silhouettes first to start off with, and then you know trying something a little more risque towards the end until you find the right comfort zone. It's all about the fit. If I can name three of my top Latinas to dress, I have to say, I have to pick four. I have to do four, because one would be Jennifer Lopez, Galilea Montillo, um, Alejandra Espinosa, and maybe Eva Longoria. HiLatinTimes.com, I'm Michael Costello. Mwah. Wishing you the best.